Well, my name is Joe Rivera, and I've been racing for a good 10 years now. And this is my car. It's a four-cylinder, rear-wheel drive. Uh, pretty noticeable at the track. Not too many four-cylinders doing what I'm doing. Uh, best time in it right now is about a 598 mile. Ran 950s in the quarter. And uh, I was looking for something that would help me get my car smoothed up a little faster. I've been using nitrous for the last couple of years since it's turbocharged. The large turbo that I have, it, it takes a little more to get it to spool up at the like. So looking online, I noticed that I found this uh, NMF. I found this product and uh, I said, well, let me try. You know what I got to lose? It was like 40 bucks for 16 ounces. So I spent 40 bucks on just probably drinking beer or doing some other stuff. So uh, I said, let me give this thing a try and see what happens. So I put it in my car and uh, I rev my car up in my garage and the first time that I was ever able to spool up my car without actually spraying the nitrous. So it being in my car uh, and not being really warmed up, I decided, well, let me take it out and let it warm up a little uh, longer and see what happens then. So I get it out on the pavement and I wait for it to get to about 170, 180 and I do it again. And amazingly, my car builds boost without having to spray the nitrous. And I have never been able to do that before. And, and the only difference that I've done was put this NMF in my car. So a lot of guys will say, oh, snake on other stuff. Well, the proof is in the pudding to me because I actually put it in the car and it actually worked. And since then, I got another Pathfinder and I want to put it in that. And just knowing my Pathfinder where it actually idles, it would always idle at around 850. And after putting that stuff in there, now my car idles at 650 and it runs smooth. It used to have this kind of vibration and the vibration's gone. So, I mean, all I can say is the stuff worked for me. I'm just a regular Joe and it just my name just happens to be Joe. Uh, it worked. Uh, that's all I can say. Uh, it don't really cost that much and I plan on putting it in, you know, pretty much all my vehicles in my, my Beamer and I got a couple other cars that, that I have. And not only did I put it in my motors, in my transmission, in my water, in my power steering, in my rear end, and uh, my car's been running great. So if you want to see my car run, you can always go on YouTube and see some videos of Force of the Fury. Uh, and, and that's me. That's what I do. I, and I just do stuff out of my garage. I'm not no, uh, no well-known racer, but I'm just a regular guy that likes to race his car on the weekend. So if you're looking for an extra uh, additive for your car and, and an extra power booster this has been working for me so I suggest you try it and see how it turns out okay well this is my four cylinder and, and as I uh, been building I was looking for a name for it and, and the name that I came up with is four cylinder fury so basically it is a four cylinder uh, and I called it fury because it seems like it's always mad all the time when it gets to the track they guys say when it leaves it's pretty violent coming out of the hole so uh, my best 60 foot so far has been a 131 uh, and it is a four banger rear wheel drive uh, as you can see it's, I run a 62 66 turbo uh, it, it is multi ported with four injectors I run on E85 uh, which helps to keep it cool and like I said I do put that NMF in my water also helps to keep it cool in the oil and, and the transmission so uh, as you can see over here I do have my nitrous hookup but since I've been using N NMF, uh, once my bottle runs out, I can still actually spool my car without it. So uh, it's pretty much just a show thing right now. I don't really need it anymore. I can actually save $40 every time I go racing because I don't have to fill the bottle up anymore. So uh, pretty much uh, I run skinny tires in the front uh, and I do run 20 inches in the back. It does have a trans brake on it and uh, it is an adapter that's in the car where it adapts to a Chevy transmission power glide. So, uh, and it's just a one seater. One day I'll put another seat in there so probably uh, some people get an excitement of what it feels like to give you a you know, five second car. Uh, 